Hey everyone, my name is Nick Adwell Palker and I am the lead pastor at Throgs Neck Community Church. For a few minutes, I want to talk to you about one of the most common barriers to total intimacy with God, and it is the barrier of distraction. In Luke chapter 10, beginning at verse 38, we see this very clearly. I'm going to read it for you, and it says this, as Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, the Lord said, you are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed, or indeed only one. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. You know, this shows us a few things about distractions. First of all, we must remember that proximity to doesn't equate to intimacy with. For example, the story of Martha and Mary is, is a perfect illustration of this. Martha was very close to Jesus. He was in her home, but she was still distracted and worried and flustered by all the preparing she needed to do. Instead of focusing on Jesus, she was focusing on other things, and that can be a major distraction to intimacy with God. Second, intimacy is something that is open to anyone that is undistracted. You know, Mary was a woman. She was sitting undistracted at the feet of a rabbi. And this is radically countercultural for that day. You see, women didn't have a prominent place, but Jesus let her be close to him. So I want to say that you can be close to the Lord if you're willing to be undistracted and focused. And third, undistracted intimacy is the greatest ministry. You know, before choosing to serve like Martha, I want to challenge you to sit with Jesus. It's always about coming to Jesus before we go out. Now, being undistracted is challenging, but it's not impossible. And I, I want to share with you three ways to practice undistracted intimacy with God. First of all, choose a quiet place. If you want to be undistracted, you need quiet. You need a place where you can focus. Second, I want to challenge you to open the Bible and read the Word of God slowly. Take your time to focus in on the Scripture and go over it and over it again. And third, let me remind you, if you mess up, if you fall off for a day, or if you find yourself distracted in prayer and worship, don't give up because there's always new mercy with our God. So I'm thankful for this opportunity to talk to you about this important barrier to intimacy with God, distractions. And I wanna challenge you to be focused on him, undistracted in a way like Mary who sat at Jesus' feet. God bless you.